by this news. Uh, Kobe retired from the NBA in 2016. He's the fourth all-time leading scorer. He was the third all-time leading scorer until yesterday. LeBron James passed his mark yesterday. And Kobe uh, tweeted out his congratulatory remarks towards LeBron. After that, um, he was with one of the rookie franchises in the NBA, the Los Angeles Lakers. That allowed the Hollywood press that you're talking about. Kobe was a celebrity. He was a star on and off the floor. Uh, his championships go back 20 years. He came right from high school to the NBA at a time when that was not done very often and became one of the greatest players in the history of the league. This is a very close league. Its superstars and its leaders are in a very small and tight circle. Just this week, Kate, I was in New York at Radio City Music Hall where they had an unbelievable gathering of basketball greats honoring the late David Stern, the commissioner who passed away on January 1st. And uh, the community was still saddened by the commissioner's passing 25 days later. And this will only devastate uh, all the basketball community and all the people who love sports because Kobe Bryant truly was one of the great sportsmen of our generation. Mike, we don't know where the helicopter was coming from and going to at this point. It went down Calabasas, this is near Malibu, California. Uh, I know he's been in the business world of late. Um, he's got a number yes. of projects. He's had a number of, of deals, I think, with Nike and others. Uh, explain that. What has he been up to more recently? Sure. He retired in 2016, Kate. And even on the day of his final game that I had the chance to broadcast, he scored 60 points in that game. Uh, most of anybody scored in the NBA that year as an individual. Uh, Kobe was taking meetings that morning. Uh, near his house, near his office, which was not near downtown Los Angeles yet, because of the 20 years in L.A. and the notorious traffic in Los Angeles, Kobe, as he got later in his career, would commute from his home where he had a, an office nearby and would commute via helicopter downtown to Los Angeles uh, where they played at the Staples Center or to do other things. So Kobe's helicopter has been in use for several years. Uh, some had referred to it as Kobe One, a la Air Force One. Uh, his personal helicopter for commuting downtown to Los Angeles to avoid the traffic. So when I heard the news Kobe Bryant helicopter, he put together right away. That is something he had used often. And talk about player. Two Olympic gold medals, uh, five NBA championships. In his 20 years, he was an all-star 18 times, which is the second most in the history of the league. And as I said, was fourth in points. But those stats and accolades, uh, extraordinary by any accounting, pale in comparison to the people who competed against Kobe. Kobe had a drive and a desire to compete unlike many athletes any of us have covered in many sports. Uh, you know, it was the old, like, he, if his mom was there guarding the basket, he would go and attack the basket and go over his mom for a hoop. That, that was Kobe. He, had what, he was nicknamed the Mamba. And it was known as a Mamba mentality. And you've seen him talk about it to many athletes uh, in various sports, ranging from other NBA players to teammates to uh, college basketball players and women's college basketball players uh, you know, of the current day. They all have been inspired and in some way pushed by Kobe Bryant's mentality to be that extra level of great. And you've been showing the pictures of Kobe here on the screen. And one of them is with his daughter. His daughter is uh, one of the four daughters was a very good young basketball player, and we've seen lots of shots at NBA games the last two years of Kobe talking basketball and other things with his daughter, and uh, that's just uh, one of many heartbreaking aspects of this just yeah. <laughs> unbelievable story. Unbelievable. Here. I did, we didn't believe it in the newsroom when we first started hearing reports, yeah. Mike. Uh, a wife, Vanessa, and four daughters, um, just to know attributing this to the L.A. Times. NBC News has spoken with the city manager of Calabasas, California, confirming Kobe Bryant died in a helicopter crash. You see the wreckage burning there in the background of that shot. Uh, this is about 10 a.m. Pacific time, so that's about uh, 1 p.m. Eastern time today on a Sunday. Uh, Mike, what will happen now? Are you hearing yet from any uh, giants, other giants in, in the world of basketball or sports um, I, I assume there'll be an outpouring of, of grief. There, there will be, Kate. As, um, as is the case in 2020, this news often transfer, trans, uh, transfers around the country much quicker than it used to because of social media. And just seeing the some on social media, it's uh, complete devastation uh, emotionally for so many people who were inspired by Kobe. And
and undoubtedly as you watch not just NBA games, but I think games in any sport uh, over the next uh, four, five, six days, you will see uh, emotional tributes. You'll see Kobe's number, either number 8 or 24. He will for both his career. You'll see them on sneakers. You'll see players wearing them if they can. You'll see displays of emotion and signs and, of course, moments of silence. And I think not just in the NBA or college basketball, but sports all over the country as we go through the next uh, few weeks. And certainly, uh, the sports world will be in mourning because at age 41, Kobe had so many things beyond basketball that was part of this life, including being a dad and yeah. four girls as well. Information officers describing what happened to this helicopter. Uh, so early on in this incident, we received a call just before 10 a.m. this morning, LA County Fire Dispatch, of an aircraft down here in uh, the Malibu area right off of Lost Virgins, essentially Calabasas, right off of Lost Virgins Road here. And uh, apparently some folks were out here mountain biking this morning and saw an aircraft in distress that went down into the hillside. Um, there, it, this was a helicopter. It's been confirmed that it was an S-76 Sikorsky helicopter. And unfortunately, there were no survivors. Um, Again, we're here at NBC News in New York. on have been emerging into as a businessman over time here. Uh, there, there, there were times go back to when he and Shaquille O'Neal, in the year after Michael Jordan won six titles in each other, and in a later chapter as Kobe won another title after that, two more titles after that, in 09 and 2010, I think after that, you started to see Kobe become more of a mentor to some of the players he was around, to the star players in the league. And certainly in this business venture that was the end of his career and post, uh, Kobe was trying to help his people who touched him, really, as a platform uh, to tell their story and to do good storytelling. He was involved in some media projects as well. I was very much involved in the next chapter. Mike, there were a couple of films, Dear Basketball uh, and Kobe Bryant's Muse. Um, I believe he won awards for some of them. Which was, it's a 